Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the use of the interactive point tracker within Resolve. So it's very easy. We have this uh, shot that I made here in Kenya. And then what I want to do is let's mute the audio first. And let's do a decent color grading for that. So let's bring that down. Pull a little blue out of the light areas of the picture. And then let's give it a bit more warmth to it. And then also a bit more depth there. Good. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to lock off it because as you can see here, if I play this from the beginning, because it was shot with a telephoto lens, it moves around a little bit. I want to lock this off. So the easy way to do this is if we come to the stabilizer, come down here, and usually by default, this is in Cloud Tracker, we'll change it to Point Tracker. Okay, so then what we want to do is now select a point. So we click on the point selection tool, and there you can see your point that you can position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it onto one of these items here. And let's do another one. And let's take this one and do it on, uh, let's do it on something like here. So now what we want to do is we want to do the tracking. So what we do next is track it forward. So as you can see, the cursor points move with the object, which is what we want. If we look down here, we can see the corrections that have been built up. Now, as you can see here, it didn't track for the entire clip. It only did it from the point where I start. So what I'm going to do is put reset my positioner here into the center and now track it backwards. Now, once it's finished, we can then click on the Stabilize button. Now, what will happen is, as you can see here, it is moving this around in order to compensate for that area. What I can do then is then come over to my sizing control and then zoom the picture in slightly and give them a little tilt like so. Pan him over and maybe even rotate it slightly. And now we have our static shot. And if I come back to the, this part here, you can see here. Now if I play it from here, you can see a nice static shot of the elephant. And we're all set to go. Okay, so for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.